In this Django primer, we're going to take a look at a built-in template filter that allows you to sort a list of dictionaries by a particular key. Now I have the Django documentation open here, and this is the page for the built-in template tags and filters. On the right-hand sidebar, we can scroll down to the particular filter we're interested in, and it's this one here, Dictionary Sort. We can see what this filter does here. It takes a list of dictionaries and it returns that list sorted by the key given as an argument. So for example, if we had this particular list of dictionaries, they have a name and an age key. We could then apply this filter here and pass the name to that. And the output would be actually the list of dictionaries sorted by the name key in alphabetical order. So let's see an example of this in Django. I have a project open here in VS Code. We have a simple index.html being rendered by this index view. And within that file, we simply have hello. So if I go to the front end here, we see hello here on the page. What we're going to do now is we're going to create a list of dictionaries representing bands. And then we're going to add that to the context and display it here on this page. If we go back to views.py and above the context here, I'm going to paste in a list of bands. And you can see we've got a list here where each individual element is a dictionary containing two keys, the name of the band and the band's genre as well. So we have two keys here that we can sort by in the template. The next step is to add these bands to our context. So we add the key bands and we can make that equal to our list of dictionaries above here. So now we have access in the template to a band variable so let's go back to the template and we can loop over this in an unordered list a ul tag and we'll say for band in bands and what we can do let's end the for loop here and we can then print out the name and the genre of the band and we'll use an li tag a list tag for this we'll print the band's name and the band's genre one thing to note here is that the django template syntax we don't use the normal key accessing syntax for dictionaries. Normally we would use this kind of syntax here to access a key, but in the templates we use dot notation. So it's band dot name and that will give us access in the template to this particular key within each element when we're iterating over these bands. So going back to the template, we save that and we can display it on our page here. So we now get the list of bands displayed here. We're now going to sort this list by the band's name. So let's go back to the template and we'll use the dict sort tag here and we'll provide the key as an argument. So the key we're going to sort by is the name key which corresponds to this particular key in the dictionary. If we go back here now, we see that the bands are now sorted in alphabetical order. So that's in alphabetical order, but we can actually reverse that. So we can go from Z to A. We simply put reversed here. So this is another template filter provided by Django. Dict sort reversed. And if we use that, we can see we now get the bands in reverse alphabetical order. Now we can also pass the genre key here. We can pass any key we want to this particular template filter. So if I pass genre, we see we get the genres in reverse alphabetical order now. If you go back to the documentation you can see that we can actually have more complicated things we can provide nested fields for sorting so for example if we had a list of dictionaries where we had a nested dictionary the author dictionary here where the author has a name and an age we can actually access the inner dictionary author.age that gives us access to the age key within that inner dictionary and then we can sort by that particular key so let's demonstrate how this works. We're going to copy this list of dictionaries to our Django view. And now we're going to call this books. And if we paste that in here, we should get our list of books. Let me format that. So now the books have a title, they have an author, and the author field is an inner dictionary here with a name and an age. So let's add that to our context. And then we can copy from the documentation this particular structure here into our template. So let's paste that in here. And we loop over the books um, in the context we sort by the author's age field, so that means we should expect to see the list of dictionaries sorted by the age of the author. So first you would see Alice, second you would see 1984, and third you'd see Timequake. So let's see if that works on the front end. And you see it here, firstly we have Alice, second we have 1984, and then Timequake. And we can provide any field we want here. We also have a name field, so if I provided that as the, the key to the inner dictionary, we will then sort by the name. So we have George, Kurt, and Lewis. So you can do nested sorting using the dict sort template filter and also the reversed filter as well. Now, as a bonus, you can actually sort in the view itself if you don't want to use the filter. So what I'll do is remove the template filter here. 
and what we can do is we can sort the books in a particular order in our template. So we can use the list.sort method to do that and we'll provide a key to define how this should be sorted. So lambda x and we'll say we want to sort by, in this case, the title and that should give us the titles in order. So if we go back to the front end, we see we get 1984 first because it's a numerical title, then Alice, then Timequake. And similarly, we can use Lambda functions here to sort by the author's age. We would simply use that syntax here. We access the author field, and then that itself is a dictionary, as you can see here. So we then access the, the age field within that dictionary. So that should now sort by the ages, and we get back the same order as we did when we used the template filter. So that's all for this video. Thank you for watching and if you enjoyed please like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video.